Some of what I've looked at, I was pleased in the confession that's been upon men and women's lips. But most of what I heard was disturbing. And then when I began to look at the attitude of heart, it became even more disturbing. And then I felt as though I failed as a leader in producing servants, in producing servants. Servanthood has been a job that has been looked down upon in Zoe as demeaning. Servanthood has been something that has been looked down upon as that's for the lesser person to do. Servanthood has been looked down upon like, well, I'm this and you're that. And no matter how great one is, no matter what one will ever come to in life, this house must always exemplify the heart of a servant. No matter how blessed you are, no matter how rich you become, you must be able to stoop down and wash your brother's feet. If our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has an example can begin to stoop and begin to wash his disciples' feet. Then if he said that, and he says, and, and Peter, Peter was, was a good adjutant. Peter was a good deacon. Peter said, no, Lord, you don't have to wash my feet. He says, well, if I wash you not, you have no part with me. Well, Lord, come on, wash my hands and my head. But, 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 but what Jesus was trying to show them that even in all the miracles and glory, that servanthood was something that had to be looked at. I want to talk for a moment about counting up the cost for servanthood. This message was born out of conversation and dialogue that came out of my own office. And I says, if those that are walking the closest to me have misunderstood my message, I says, definitely the congregation definitely has not heard my message. And at that point, I began to ask the Lord, I says, Lord, what do I do? He says, you're going to have to lead them. You're going to have to gird the towel. See, this is what this represents. Servant. When you understand the bishop's garment, everything in the bishop's garment denotes servanthood. Amen. The censure represent girding as our Lord girded the towel around his waist and to stoop and to wash the disciples' feet. Some of you may look and say, well, what could have been that much or what could have been said that really sent the wrong message, Bishop? Well, when we begin to look at what Christianity is about, we are to serve the world we're to serve community. But even before serving the world and community, we've got to be able to serve each other. Amen. And then he that is the greatest among you, let him or her be the servant Amen. of all. This is what Christ taught us. Amen. We had some of the ministers were in dialogue and they were in dialogue concerning the role of the ministers or the pastor's wife and so they began to say some of the minister wives were being asked to become deaconesses and one minister to another began to say, well, a minister wife shouldn't be a deaconess because a minister's wife is a higher calling than deaconess. Something rubbed wrong in my spirit. And the Holy Ghost says, have you produced this in your people? 
Have they misunderstood what your role is? So he said, remove the cathedra out of the sanctuary and take the lesser seat until it becomes fixed in their mind. Carry your own bags and theirs. If your brother asks to go one mile, go two. You must demonstrate. We're going to go through a series of lessons that's going to get to the, even to the point of covering the leader because even that works in servanthood. And I felt like if we didn't correct this scratch in the road now, if we didn't correct this attitude, we were getting ready to have a church of the haves and have nots. We were going to have a church where those that are, have their nose in the air have certain seats and those that don't are sitting in the back seats. And, 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 and I got to be answerable to God. Yes. Servanthood. What is your Christianity about? What's your walk about? Is it, is it about... Jordan, is it about getting a Rolls Royce, Mercedes being prosper? Are people looking at the ministry for what they can get? Or do they understand laying down their life and denying themselves? Many have looked at what I've walked into but have not looked back and check the record of the cost of the price it's paid. So, you know, this is comfortable for me. I felt real comfortable this morning with just me and Prophetess sitting up in the front because that's how we started out with just five folks. Amen. She opened up, she greet, I greet. I talk, she talk in tongues, I interpret. I talk in tongues, she interpret. We both stood up. Those of you who knew way back then, we both stood up together. We prophesied. She pointing to someone over there. I'm pointing to someone over there. That's, that, that, this was real comfortable this morning. I'm never too great that I don't know how to go back to my beginning. Because I know how to fall upon the rock because I don't want the rock to fall on me. Servanthood, servanthood, what, what does it mean? Well, we'll be breaking it down in weeks to come, even in some of your own auxiliaries. About are you really covering each other? Maybe we'll have to explain about intercultural racism. Amen. See, we're going to test to see if you really got Christianity or not. We're going to see if Christ is really in you. And have you possessed a white Christ or a black Christ? Because see, a black Christ serves. A white Christ oppresses. When we begin to look at this particular passage of Scripture... We see three points here. Number one, one must count the course. Number two, one must follow immediately. And number three, one must not look back. And there's a lot of folks looking back at what they could have had in the world. You know what I'm talking about, Deacon Cliff. You know, back, you know, when I was about there, you know, I was getting paid, man. You can't look back. The Bible says when you look back, you're not fit for the kingdom. And that's the reason that many can't press forward because you're busy looking back. Stop driving from the rear view mirror. Touch your name and say, he's talking to you. Some of you are on the highway on the New Jersey Turnpike, instead of looking through the big windshield in front of you, you're driving through a, the rear view mirror. You're about to have an accident. Yes. 